fourth edition of Interchange, the most widely used and the most successful English course in the world. This state-of-the-art software is designed to help you maximize your teaching effectiveness as you move seamlessly through each lesson, incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. Visit the link below or contact your Cambridge University Press representative for a demonstration today. Welcome to English for Arabs. Unit 12. Part 1. Interchange 2 for sedition. Unit 12. It could happen to you. 1. Ingredients. Components. Stuck. Unable to move. Velectro, a fastener for clothes or other items. Glue, sticky substance, a sticky substance. 2. Get off, to leave a train, bus. Slep, slept, slept. To slide unintentionally, mud. 3. A celebrity. A famous person, British tutor, teacher, teacher who works with a small group, British teacher, American teacher, a teacher who works with a small group, a mining company, four, a lucky break, lucky break, an unexpected event that bring an expected event that brings good fortune. Lucky break. An expected event that brings good fortune. Warriors, fighters. Warriors, fighters. Archaeological site. Archaeological site. Terracotta. Hard reddish brown clay. Terracotta. Hard reddish brown clay. Autograph T of D auto. Graph P H -S F autograph. Signature of famous person. An autograph a signature of a famous person. Of emperor emperor a ruler of an empire. Emperor a ruler of an empire. Fine. Neutral, not positive or negative. Coincidentally, fortunately, luckily. Unfortunately, British, unfortunately, American, unfortunately, T of D, unluckily. Miraculously. Mir miracle, miraculous, miraculously, miraculously, suddenly, unexpectedly, suddenly, unexpectedly, seven, in ages, for a long time, lately, recently, how come, why, pursue, follow, I'm almost out of no money. I'm almost out of no money. El silent. I am broke. I'm almost out. I'm almost of no money. I am broke. Unit 12. What happened? 1. Snapshot. Uh huh. Where did the ideas for these accidental inventions? come from. Here we have different inventions and we don't know how did it happen. What is the source for these inventions? Picture one, what's this? Is that ice cream? What this is the the pop. The pop 
circle. The pop circle. The pop circle. This is in 1905. How did it happen? Eleven-year-old Frank Epperson. So this is the name of the boy. He was Frank Epperson, and he was eleven years old in 1905, more than one hundred years ago. Frank wanted to make a new soft drink. Would like to make a soft drink like soda, Pepsi, Cola, Seven Up. He mixes the ingredients with a stick. He mixed the components with a stick, but he left the soda outside overnight. He forgot the soda outside during the night. The next morning, he found it frozen with the stick inside. He found it frozen, frozen from freeze, freeze like ice. With the stick inside, this is the stick. Stick. So it becomes frozen in this shape. So he make the pop circle. Velcro. What's Velcro? What do you see here? Clothes. And someone is catching something. In nineteen forty-eight, George. De Mistral. This is French name. George De Mistral went for a walk and noticed small seeds stuck to his clothes. He found that small seeds stuck come to his clothes and the stuck doesn't move. He examined them under a microscope. So he checked them, examined, checked under a microscope, and found. Hundreds of small hooks that stuck to almost anything. So there are a lot of things to stuck to clothes or anything. So he made the Velcro. Three. Look at the picture. This is like a board. But this one is blackboard. And different things. Different papers. Notes. And someone stuck the papers. He stuck them on the board. He used the glue. Post-it notes. The idea of making post-it notes. In 1970, Spencer Silver tried to invent a new glue. Glue. Something. We use it to stack things, but it was very weak. The glue was very weak. No one wanted to use it. Four years later, after four years, four years later, his co-worker Arthur Furry, his friend Arthur Furry, put the glue on bookmarks to keep them in place. His friend Arthur put the glue. On book marks to keep them in place. So this is why we have the post-it notes. Questions: Which of these accidental, accidental inventions do you think is the most in interesting and the most useful? Which one for you is the most interesting? Maybe post-it notes. This is the most useful for me. We we put it at work. Do you know of any other things that were invented accidentally? No, I didn't know. Exercise two perspectives. It happened to me. Now here, look at the picture. What do you see? A young man, and he's sleeping. He fell asleep. He was watching a movie. He was watching TV. So let's listen. What happened? Page seventy-eight, exercise two, perspectives. It happened to me. 
Part A. Listen to what happened to these people. Check the things that have happened to you. I was watching a really good movie, but I fell asleep before the end. I was talking to my friend when my cell phone died. I was traveling in another country when I met an old school friend. I was getting off a bus when I slipped and fell on the sidewalk. While I was shopping one day, a celebrity walked into the store. I was typing my book report on my computer when it crashed. While I was walking down the street, I found some money. A. Listen to what happened to these people. We check through the things that have happened to you. 1. If this happened to you, make true. If it didn't happen to you, make false. I was watching a really good movie, a good movie, a very good film, film, but I, but I fell asleep before the end. Before watching the end of the movie, I fell asleep. Yes. I was talking to my friend when my cell phone died. The battery is dead. So this is true, it happened. I was traveling in another country when I met an old school friend. Yes, I was getting off a bus when I slept and fell on the sidewalk. The sidewalk, the pavement. Yep. While I was shopping one day, a celebrity, a celebrity a famous person, a celebrity walked into the store. A celebrity came into the shop. True. I was typing my book. I was typing my book report on my computer when it crashed. No. While I was walking down the street, I found some money. Yes. True. B. Choose one statement that you checked what happened next. You tell the class what happened after that. Example, I recharged my cell phone and called my friend back. So I was talking to my friend when my cell phone died. So I recharged, I recharged my cell phone and called my friend back. I was watching a really good movie, but I fell asleep before the end. I surfed the internet and watched the end on the internet. I watched the end of the movie on one of the websites. Exercise number three, grammar focus. Past continuous Versus simple past. Page 79, exercise 3, grammar focus. Past continuous versus simple past. Use the past continuous for an action in progress in the past. Use the simple past for an action that interrupts it. I was watching a good movie, but I fell asleep before the end. I was talking to my friend when my cell phone died. While I was shopping one day, a celebrity walked into the store. Past continuous versus simple past. A comparison between the past continuous and the simple past. The past continuous was where verb plus ing. It expresses an action that happened in the past for long time. Simple past subject verb plus d e d i e d expresses actions that happened in the past and finished. The two actions happened in the past and finished. But the past continuous, here the action continued for some time in the past. The simple past, the action happened and finished in the past. We use the past continuous for an action in progress in the past, an action that continued continued for long time. 
we use a symbol path for an action that interrupts it and the symbol path here will come to stop this action example I was watching a good movie so I was watching the movie maybe for two or three hours but then another action came and stopped it and stopped it I fell asleep so I was watching good movie but but I but I fell asleep so this is the action in the past and it was continuing I was talking to my friend when my cell phone died the cell phone stopped the cell phone died so the action here stopped when I was shopping one day a celebrity walked into the store I was shopping I was doing shopping and then a famous person came into the shop or into the supermarket so I stopped shopping and I went and welcomed this person or signed an autograph So here, with as or while, we will have subject, was, where, verb, plus, ing, past continuous. The second sentence, subject, verb, with d, ed, ied. Subject, verb, in the simple past. Let's get this PowerPoint presentation. Past continuous versus simple past. The past continuous was where verb plus ing. It expresses actions that happened in the past but it continued for a long time. The simple past Actions that happened in the past and finished. Form, subject, verb, with D, E, D, I, E, D. Example for the past continuous. Yesterday I was watching television. Simple past. Yesterday I watched TV. So what is the difference between both of them? Here, I was watching television, it means I was watching television for a long time. But I watched TV, it means I watched TV for a short time, or just watched TV, as usual. But when I say, yesterday I was watching TV, it means I was watching TV for 5-6 hours. As, while. As or while, I was studying English the bell rang. We use as, while, we have two actions, two sentences. One of them, the first one, past continuous. The second action, simple past. The action was continuing in the past while I was studying English. What happened? The bell rang. Another action came and stopped it. We stopped. I stopped studying. And then, the bell rang. I went to open the door. While I was studying English, the bell rang. While I was going to school, I saw an accident. So, I was in my way school I was going to school and all of a sudden I saw an accident so I stopped and I called the ambulance and I called the ambulance I stopped walking to school so here you have an action was going on another action another action came and stopped it the first one Past continuous, the second one, simple past. So here, as while, subject, was, where, verb plus ing. This is 
past continuous. So we have as while past continuous, which of course was where verb plus ing, and then simple past. The simple past verb plus d e d i e d subject verb with t e d i e d subject verb with with d e d i e d. And now let's get some exercises. A. Complete the sentences, then compare with the partner. In this exercise, you are going to complete the sentences. 1. My brother snowboard when he break his leg in several places. So, someone, and he is snowboarding. My brother was snowboarding. My brother was snowboarding when he broke his leg in several places. So number one, was snowboarding, broke his leg. Because this action happened for a long time, my brother was snowboarding. So this is took like two or three hours. Then he, he broke his leg. Another action came and stopped snowboarding. Two, several years ago, I was having, I was having problems with math, so I found a tutor, I found a tutor to help me, I found a tutor to help me. So several years ago, I was having problems with math, with mathematics. So I was having problems for a long time with mathematics. Then I found someone, a private teacher, to help me. Three. The couple. The couple have the first child while they live in a tiny apartment. So here, after as or while, was where verb plus ing. And the second sentence in the simple past. The couple had. The couple had the first child while they were living. They were living in a tiny apartment. They were living in a very small apartment, so the couple had. They had their first child while they were living in a tiny apartment. While they were living in a very small apartment. Four. While, while I was driving in Ireland a few years ago, I realized, I realized I was on the wrong side of the road. So while I was driving, past continuous, then I realized this is a simple past. While I was driving in Ireland a few years ago, I realized I was on the wrong side of the road. 5. Enrique was reading a good book, but, so something came and stopped the action, but someone told there the ending. So, Enrique was reading a good book. So maybe she was reading a good book for two or three days. But then someone came and told her, told her the ending. So, was reading and then told, the verb in the past. Six. While we, after while, past continuous, while we were cooking dinner last night, the phone rang. The phone rang three times and then stopped. So while we were cooking was where verb plus ing. While we were cooking dinner last night, the phone rang. Verb in the symbol past. The phone rang three times and then stopped. Stopped double P E D. Seven. My parents 
The verb in the past met. My parents met each other while they were working at the same restaurant in Vancouver. So they were working at the same restaurant in Vancouver for a long time, maybe one year. Okay, but they met each other once, like from the first time. This is how this has happened for a short time. My parents met met each other while they were working at the same restaurant in Vancouver. B. Complete the sentences with interesting information about yourself. Use the simple path or the path continuous. In this exercise, you are going to answer and complete these sentences. You can use simple path, path continuous, whatever you like. 1. While I was going home one day, I saw an accident. While I was going home one day, I met my best friend. I was doing my homework. I was doing my homework when when the telephone rang. I was doing my homework when when my uncle came. I was talking to my friend when I was talking to my friend. When when the mobile died when the cell phone died last month i went to the movies last month i went to the cinema two years ago i traveled abroad two years ago i traveled to australia two years ago i traveled to canada c pair work take turns reading your sentences from part b then ask and answer follow-up question. So you make a sentence and then your friend will make a conversation with you. This is pair work, you and your friend. Example. A. While I was going home one day, I found a lost kitten. Kitten? Kitten. This is, means a small cat, a young cat. Oh no, what was it doing? I think it was looking for its mother. It had a tag, so I called its owner. It had a tag. What's a tag? A label which gives information about the cat or the dog. Another example. While I was going home one day, I met my best friend. I was going home and then my car broke down. My neighbor Muhammad was my best friend. He helped me and he fixed the car. I thanked him a lot. Exercise for listening. Lucky breaks. Listen to the stories about lucky breaks. What were the people doing before they got their lucky breaks? What were their lucky breaks? So here, you look at the picture. What do you see? A lot of soldiers. Soldiers, they were made of clay. Clay, the mud. This is called terracotta warriors. The terracotta warriors were found, were discovered in China. Now, let's listen. We're going to listen about Mr. Yang Zifar. What was he doing and what's his lucky break? Page 80, exercise 4. Listening. Lucky breaks. Part A. Listen to these stories about lucky breaks. What were the people doing before they got their lucky breaks? What were their lucky breaks? 1. Young Zifa About 40 years ago, Young Zifa was just an ordinary Chinese farmer. 
He was living off the land and was very poor. Today, he is recognized as the man who discovered a highly important archaeological site, sometimes called the Eighth Wonder of the World. What happened? One morning in March 1974, Zifa and some other local farmers were looking for water. As they were drilling a well, they hit something hard. They found pieces of pottery and ancient weapons. Immediately, the head of the village reported the news to the local government, and in May 1976, the digging began. To everyone's surprise, there were over 8,000 soldiers made of terracotta lying underneath his land. The soldiers were over 2,000 years old and had been buried along with Emperor Qin, who wanted to take an army with him to his next life. Today, young Zifa spends much of his time at the Terracotta Army Museum. He sits, poses for pictures, and proudly signs autographs for the millions of tourists who visit from all over the world. One Yang Zifar Yang Zifar What was he doing? He was looking for water. He was drilling a well when he had something hard. He discovered an important archaeological site. He discovered the eighth wonder of the world. He discovered 8,000 soldiers. They are terracotta warriors. Lucky break. Before the discovery, young Zifar was an ordinary farmer. Today, he sits in the museum, signs autographs, and poses for pictures. 2. 2. Gwyneth Paltrow You could say that actress Gwyneth Paltrow was born lucky. After all, she is the daughter of two well-known talents. Her mother is an actress, and her father was a writer, producer, and director. But like all people wanting to break into movies, she had to go to drama school and learn how to act. Today, Gwyneth Paltrow is a successful international actress and has even won an Oscar award. So how did it all begin? According to Ms. Paltrow, her lucky break came when she was 18 years old. She was at a movie theater with her parents. While they were waiting in line to buy some popcorn, she noticed that Steven Spielberg was also in line. She was just about to order when he came over to her and said, Hey, can I ask you a favor? Would you play Wendy in the movie Hook? Sure, she said, and so she got her first movie role. Number two. What was she doing? She was at a movie theater waiting in line to buy popcorn popcorn American popcorn to buy popcorn when she noticed Steven Spielberg Steven Spielberg a very famous director in the USA he offered her a part in a movie What was her lucky break? What happened to her life? Gwen Spalter got her first movie role. This led to a career as an international actress. This led her to a job, to make a job, to have her own job as an international actress.
Exercise number five, word power. Now, storytelling. Storytelling. Look at the picture. What do you see? We see here a delivery man is carrying pizza. Someone who has a cake. A dog, and the dog was chasing the cat. A chase between cat and dog. Sewer. A celebrity. Maybe famous singer, famous actress. And a lot of people, a lot of journalists and people, they're taking photographs, they're taking photos. So, storytelling. Some adverbs are often used in storytelling to emphasize, to confirm that something interesting is about to happen, that something wonderful is about to happen. Which of these adverbs are positive and which are negative? Which could be either neutral, neutral, positive or negative? Both. We have here different adverbs. The adverb most of time, it ends with L-Y. The adverb describes the verb. So, here you write next to each adverb if it's positive, good, negative, bad, or either neutral. Maybe positive, maybe negative. Coincidentally, coincidentally, you have a coincident. Coincidentally, this is E, neutral. Maybe this happened by chance. Coincident, by chance. It could be good adjective, it could be bad adjective, positive or negative. So this is E, neutral. Fortunately, fortunately, this is positive. Fortunately means luckily. Luckily, positive, good. Miraculously, miracle, miraculously. This is, of course, yes, positive, like something good, sad, sad, adjective, L-Y, sadly, this is the adverb, sadly, sadly, negative, strangely, 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 this is E, positive and negative, E, could be both, suddenly, Suddenly, E, positive or negative. Surprisingly, E, positive or negative, because sometimes we have good surprise, a good surprise or a, pa or a bad surprise. Unexpectedly, E, positive and negative, because we have good surprises and bad surprises. Unfortunately, unfortunately, unluckily, this is negative, bad. And for Schnelli, negative. B. Pair work. Complete the statements with adverbs from part A to make up creative sentences. So here we try to make creative sentences. Example. I was walking down the street when suddenly, and then you say suddenly, unexpectedly, and for Schnelli. Surprisingly, when unexpectedly I saw a celebrity, I was walking down the street when, when suddenly I saw Adil Imam. It started out as a normal day, but unfortunately. Started to rain. It rained. It started out as a normal day, but unexpectedly I found one million dollar. I found a bag. I found a bag. I found a lot of cash. We were on our way to the party. 
We were on our way to go to this party, the birthday party, the wedding party. When, unfortunately, our car broke down. The car broke down so we couldn't move. We can use, of course, these wonderful adverbs in writing, especially in writing, to make creative sentences. Exercise 6. Writing. A recent event. A modern event. A. Write a short story about something that happened to you recently. Try to include some of the adverbs from exercise 5. You have to try to write some adverbs from exercise number 5. Example. I was visiting the coast last year when, unexpectedly, I got a chance to go kayaking. Fortunately, it was a perfect day and I was having a great time. The water was calm, calm and silent, and I was beginning to feel a little tired when suddenly... So, you start to write about any event in your life, and you start to write the paragraph, and you put the adverbs like fortunately, unfortunately, luckily, recklessly, suddenly, surprisingly, between every sentence and another. This is very good way and very good technique for writing. You should write in professional way. Don't write any sentence alone, like I was visiting the coast last year, full stop, no. From now on, you should write every two sentences or three sentences together. Use conjunctions like when, as, while, f, relative pronouns, relative clothes, who, which, that. Use adverbs fortunately and fortunately, luckily and luckily, recklessly, suddenly. With this way, we make the whole paragraph as one unit. B. Group work. Take turns reading your stories. Answer any questions from the group. So every student is going to read the paragraph of his friend and try to correct the mistakes for him. Tell him or tell her your point of view, your opinion about, about his writing or his paragraph. Now, that's the end of unit number 12, part 1. Homework 1. Keep the words by heart. Keep the words by heart. 2. Listen and repeat. 3. Answer the first three pages of Interchange 2. Workbook Unit Number Twelve Four www dot cambridge dot org slash interchanger kid slash If you like it, please share it and subscribe. Wish you all good luck. Presentation Plus is available exclusively with the new 4th edition of Interchange, the most widely used and the most successful English course in the world. This state-of-the-art software is designed to help you maximize your teaching effectiveness as you move seamlessly through each lesson, incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. With Presentation Plus, your students will be laser focused on the task at hand as you use the built-in presentation tools to highlight key concepts, reveal answers to exercises, annotate passages, 
play class audio passages, and video segments. And even embed web links right into your lessons. Let us show you how Presentation Plus can help you deliver more engaging and effective lessons. Visit the link below or contact your Cambridge University Press representative for a demonstration today. ممكن تجيب كتاب Interchange في أي مكتبة على مستوى العالم. الكتاب موجود في العالم العربي كله في السعودية في الكويت الإمارات البحرين مصر. والكتاب كمان موجود في فرنسا وإيطاليا وأسبانيا في كل الدول وفي أوروبا فكل الناس اللي هم بياخدوا اللغة الإنجليزية كلغة أجنبية تانية يقدروا يستخدموا الكتاب عندنا مثلا في مصر في المكتبة الأكاديمية وده جنب مترو أنفاق الدقي مجرد تخرج من مترو أنفاق الدقي هتلاقي المكتبة على طول قدامك مكتب سفينكس في شارع الشواربي شارع الشواربي في وسط البلد مشهور جدا فعندنا مكتبة جرير مكتبة جرير برضو بتقدم كتاب كتاب انتر تشينج سلسلة كلها وهي لها فروع في كل دول الخليج مكتبة الامازون اللي هي المكتبة رقم واحد على مستوى العالم ودي برضو فيها كل النسخ بتاعت الانتر تشينج 